is my heater, which at the moment is on full. So I'm going to turn it down so you can hear me. Now it's quietening down. Um, you've got to excuse the mess of the wire, and I know it is a mess, but it's functional. Um, I do struggle getting down here and getting back up again because I have got back problems, and it's taken me probably six months to get this working properly and quiet and down and so the wiring tidiness is going to come sort of next year it's functional at the moment and that's all I care about anyway so what we've got is obviously the heater now the back of the heater as you can see has got loads of insulation around it we've got this pump here now this is a I don't know if it's a peristatic pump whatever type it is but it's completely silent I'm going to leave a link in the description to where to get these um, by the time you watch this video you're probably out of stock because that's what happens every time I release a video they've got an adjustment here for atmospheric pressure instead of changing the pump frequency I think that's what that does all the info if you email James he'll send you absolutely everything about that pump what that dials for I don't touch it it's fine I don't screw this to the cupboard because every now and again I need to get rid of air bubbles so we'll just try this there you go there's there's a couple of bubbles coming out there so that's the reason why I don't screw that to there I just leave it like that and it works fine and then I can get all the air bubbles out here we've got a, I've got a switch with a 3d printed case that is for the two fans that I've got now I'll show you underneath I am speaking to you from underneath the cupboard wasn't there a Monty Python thing that did that there's the exhaust that gets rather hot now the fan blows across the exhaust and it does serves two purposes it circulates the heat into here and also it stops the hot air from rising and burning the cabinet if that fan stops running then it'll start burning it doesn't set it on fire it just starts burning uh, the top of the cabinet so that's that bit there the downpipe here I've got going over to an air filter a basic air filter off a pit bike I think it is now when you get these they come with a flexi pipe the flexi pipe basically does this it'll sound like this and when you turn that up it starts howling when you put the original one in the original flexi hose when you turn the power up uh, it starts howling now I found out that about a meter that's about a meter it stops the resonation you got about 33 percent that comes off the induction which is that pipe there and you've got about 33 percent that comes off the exhaust and you've got 33 percent that comes off the um, the combustion itself and you've got a bit that comes off the fan actually and the, and the motor but I'll cover that in another video if you want to quieten it down get a length of pipe that's th I think it's 33 mil or something like that get a length of pipe copper pipe and then put a pit bike filter on the end the ones that they give you is a baffle tube it doesn't do anything it's just a bit of a filter in there it doesn't silence it quieten it down whatsoever so throw the flexi hose you don't need it the exhaust it goes around the back there as you can see and it comes through here these are genuine Webasto silencers. The Chinese ones have got nothing in them, nothing inside whatsoever. They are one of the flexi, the, you know, exhaust pipe. It's basically got one of those down the middle with holes in it, and that's it. There's no silencer material inside whatsoever. The genuine Webasto ones, the exhaust comes in here, it goes down there, around there, and there's actually silencer material inside here that it goes through and then it'll come out there and it goes down there and up there I put one of these in first and tested it and the noise was reduced a massive amount so I tried it with two to see if it was sutting up or anything or there was any back pressure and there wasn't so that's what I'm going with now obviously it's a bit of a mess uh, this is gun gum that I had to put around it to seal all the holes up and everything but it works perfectly <laughs> I'm not touching it there's no gas coming out of it there's nothing so it works it does the job and it goes around here and it comes up here to this point here now as you can see outside I've got an air vent 
and this fan pushes all the positive pressure or negative positive anyway it pushes all the gases it pushes all the gases outside and I don't know if you can see the silencer in there but what I did was I took this pipe I split it in two and I've got two of the Chinese silencers going in there which works perfectly. Around the back of here we've got a plate you can just about see the plate outline there possibly maybe I don't know if I move that um, there's a aluminium plate that seals that wall off completely so any gases anything all goes outside also what I had to do was I sealed the outside of the air uh, the air vent that's all sealed with aluminium uh, plating and then I've put fire cement around that to stop any heat from traveling around the outside but believe me by the time the gases get to here there's no chance of being burned by it and the gases going outside I think around about 40 degrees or something like that the majority of heat's taken out by that um, by the fan underneath if you want to quieten them down the first thing to do is sort the exhaust out because that howls as you turn it up. The second thing to do is sort the inlet out because that howls as you turn it up. The third thing to do, which is a very big thing to do, is sort the fan out, the inlet fan there. The motors with these things are terrible sometimes. I've, all, I've bought three of these now and I think one of the three was good. One of them I took it apart and I fitted ESO bearings in the motor and that quietened it down a hell of a lot. Um, there was another one where the fan was catching I had to push it forward. There was another one where the exhaust fan inside was catching and I had to push that one backwards but I had to take it apart to do it. I've spent three years trying to make this quiet. I've tried various different things, I've tried the Chinese exhaust um, silencers, that don't make a difference or very little difference. I've tried different length pipes, I've tried different induction pipes, I've tried different motors, I've tried everything and this, this is the quietest it'll ever get. The main thing for me is the pump, um, that is a massive difference. James, I know you're going to be watching this. It's, it, I can't. <laughs> it's worth every single penny. Now this one is the anti-siphon, one where the, the the fuel won't go back purely because my fuel tank is when it's full, it's higher than the inlet. Now you can buy other ones that you can put up high where it it doesn't need the anti-siphon pump. But if you put that pump lower than the tank, you do need that anti-siphon pump um, valve. So there are different types. Like I say, I'll put the link in the description, drop him an email, and he'll sort you out. I've had my thermal camera on every single part. There's nothing apart from underneath where the fan blows that gets above about 80 degrees. I can't remember what the flash point of diesel is, but it's safe. This thing here is part of the project that I was working on which I'll show you possibly now. Here's something I've been working on. This is connected to my heater which is in the kitchen, my Chinese diesel heater. And this here which is a wireless module it's just connected to uh, powered by an 18650 but you can put two in parallel and it will run for weeks. Uh, this is a sharp was it sharp memory display and there's an OLED and inside here is one of these so that was, a, that was a project I was working on it's only a one way system whereby it's a receiver and there's, there's no transmitter on it yet I've still got a lot to work on it here's the battery connector that it's not connected at the moment so that, that's another project that I'm working on in the background I stopped working on it about 12 months ago because I had other things to do. I've had my carbon monoxide meter, not, not just the alarm, I've had the meter on every single place underneath, I've had it in there, I've had it by the exhaust sitting there, on the outside there is no excessive carbon monoxide or any gases, I've got other meters, there's no excessive gases on anything. So I'm 100% safe, I'm confident that this is a safe system. If that fan stops working, it starts smelling a bit in here. Um, if that one underneath stops working, then it might start tarnishing 
this it might get a bit of a smell of burning but it won't set fire to it it's not hot enough the, the heat doesn't travel far enough I've turned the fan off got my flare meter flare whatever camera on the underside and it gets to about 70 or 80 degrees and that's the maximum when that fan stops turning so I've done all my research it's taken me three years to get it to this point and everything works perfectly oh this this plate here during the summer I put that under there like that and in the winter I'll leave it like that. So if anyone's got any questions, drop them below and I'll try my hardest to answer them. I'll do all the servicing in a different video, um, how to dismantle them and how to service them. Drop a comment below, give me a thumbs up, like, share, subscribe and all that crap that I never say, although I have said it quite recently. Anyway, have a nice day, keep warm, keep smiling and bollocks to what anybody else thinks.